Hi everyone, this is Shamila here. Welcome to my channel. I've had a request from someone asking me how to change the pressure settings of any particular uh, material in Design Space. So this is your homepage in Design Space and always, depending on the time of year, this page might look different with different projects. But we shall go to our burger, which are the three lines in the top left hand corner and that opens up your canvas. Now just to make things simple I am just going to type in my name and use that as an example. So once that is done you highlight your item and you go to the top right hand side and say make it. I've got a make a three so it's going to give me these options. I'm choosing I'm going to cut on a mat and go continue. Now this brings up a screen where you can see the size of uh, material that you need. So I need approximately 11 by 3 centimeters. Had this been heat transfer or iron on vinyl, I would use on the left hand side here the mirror option which will reverse the image. And um, once you transfer this onto your t-shirt or your bag or whatever you're going to be using it will be facing the right way but we are using permanent vinyl right now which is um, transferred using transfer paper or transfer sheets it's a clear adhesive um, sheet that you put apply onto your uh, permanent vinyl and you utilize that to transfer it onto your project so we shall hit the continue button on the bottom right and this will open up your base material options. So if you've got favorites, my favorites are all here, but what we are looking for is all the materials and on the right hand side here there's an option in green that says browse all materials. Now right at the bottom of this page you'll see here we've got all materials. On the left hand side at the bottom there's another green set of words and it says material settings. So when you click on there, it will bring up all the material settings, all the custom materials. Now, the 280 GSM card you see here, that's my own one that I've added. But other than that, everything else is alphabetized under the material settings. So I'm looking for premium vinyl or permanent vinyl. So L M N O P. Here we go. Premium permanent glossy vinyl. Let's go with that one. On the right hand side, it will show you an edit button. So if you click on that gray edit button, it will give you an option with the slider here. So we've got the green slider, or you can use the plus and the minus sign. To increase or decrease um, the pressure. So I'm going to just change mine to 179. If you leave it on the same one the save button won't come up. So I've changed it to 179 and we go save and that will save your changes. So when you close that you need to find your your material once again so you go to browse material you can choose vinyl in the settings there and just give it one minute for the settings to pick up there we go premium permanent glossy we choose it we say done and there we go the maker or the make option will come up I tend to always cut on more because I know my material settings works best on more but you need to do a trial with yours. So cut a tiny little circle or a tiny square in the corner of your vinyl to make sure that it is cutting through and I would recommend you increase the pressure little at a time because you do not want to cut right through the vinyl and um, cut through your mat. That is an option. But I have found that between 166 and anything up to 215 even for different kinds of vinyl is what is required. But 
that is highly dependent on your particular machine so you need to um, test yours first before you commit to a particular setting so I know that mine works perfectly on 179 or 180 with a with pressure set as more I hope this was helpful and all the success with your vinyl cutting it's addictive ask me I know until next time see you in cyberspace bye now